Alright, and now we're back. Let's look at the date right now. It is Tuesday, January 16th, New Year, 2024. It's a new year. Let's uh, start with some new resolutions. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pers do I have Do I have any new resolutions? Uh, you know what? I, I, I don't. I, I really don't, really. I mean, uh, well, I mean, yeah, I do have a few. Mainly, I guess, trying to eat healthier, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, you just want to start off, be like, you know what? Maybe you should start being a bit healthier again, Rod. But do I want to be healthy? Well, of course I do. I mean, obviously, I mean... What person doesn't want to be healthy? I think it's kind of like, I think if you say, oh, I don't want to be healthy, you're kind of lying to yourself. But you know what? To each their own, and I really can't judge people, because you know what? I just, I just, I really just can't. Anyways, uh, we're going to get back to the music right now. We're going to start off with some nice ambient tunes. Um, anyone who knows me personally, one of my favorite films, um, but lately, I love A24 films. I know, I know a lot of people say, oh, if you like them, you're kind of a male manipulator. Is it true? Eh, some sense, I guess you're right, anyways. But anyways, <clears throat> we're going to play uh, the track Uncut Gems from the soundtrack of the movie called Uncut Gems, uh, scored by the amazing ambient artist David Lopatin, known for his work uh, between One of Tricks Point Never, and then when we come back, we're going to talk about some albums of the year list, because uh, I listened to a lot of albums last year. And you know what? I ranked a good amount, so we're going to uh, talk about those. But anyways, let's get back into the music. Here is Uncut Gems by Daniel Lopatin. All right, listeners, and we are back. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. How we doing? How we doing? Anyways, like I said, before we're going to the end of the break, we're going to talk about personally the worst albums of 2023 we went over my favorite albums now let's look into the albums i listened to and was like "Ooh, this isn't good this is actually like bad because i know music is a very subjective term it's very subjective what we do like and what we don't like you know it varies from people to people but uh, there's a point there has to be a point where you listen to something that's like yeah, this music absolutely has no enjoyability whatsoever. And some people think, oh, I'm over-exaggerating. Could I? Uh, quite slightly, yeah. I mean, I know, like I said, it's just very subjective. But, uh, you know what, let's just talk about the worst albums of last year. Coming in, uh, very controversial uh, well, uh, for other people, but for me, uh, for all the dogs by Drake. I'm not gonna say it's the worst album. It's I'm gonna put it up as a contender. It's it's far better than his previous albums. Uh, the one, uh, honestly, never mind. I was still the worst Drake album I've heard. But uh, just because it's not as bad doesn't mean I'm gonna put it out at the top of the list. So. It's up on the list, but it's more of a contender, to say the least. Maybe if I give it another try, I might enjoy it, but for the time being, not, not enough for me to come back for it. Oh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Hope by NF. Uh, another boring rapper. Nothing's really interesting. Sounds the same as he did when he started making music a few years, so it's very repetitive at this point. Let's see, two albums by the British songwriter Ed Sheeran. We have Minus and Autumn Variations. Um, honestly, it would have been better if it was just a double album. Uh, yeah, it's it's not good. I mean, he's now gone independent, which I fully support. I feel like more artists should become independent, you know, take control of their music and the rights of their music. So hopefully him now being independent will pave the way for better music. But, um, yeah, we'll still have to check in on that in the future. Let's see, the album by the Jonas Brothers. I I, I thought they already, like, disbanded or fell off the, the face of the earth. Because, like, it's 2024, last time I checked. It's not the mid-2010s anymore. So, yeah, maybe you should just stop making music, you know? That, that, that might be better for everyone. Let's see here. Next up, we have The Maybe Man by AGR. Anyone who knows me, I absolutely hate AJR. It's annoying millennial 
teen pop music. It's it's boring. There's there's no enjoyability to it whatsoever. It's like this is what they used to torture people. I thinking it's just so bad. There's nothing redeeming about it. So yeah, it it's it, it's bad. Nothing good about it. Uh, let's see. Next we have Rush by Manu Skin. Uh, let's see. Let's let's be honest. Everyone only knows them because they're one hit wonder on Tic Tac, and then making it onto Eurovision. Besides that, the album it's boring. It's bland. It's not enjoyable. It's it takes the elements of rock music and just absolutely destroys it. It's it's not even good. It's it's not even funny to make fun of it. To be honest, it it's really not good to make fun of it. Let's see. Here next we have the uh, Leyenda Viva by Six Nine. I I honestly was surprised he was even making music. I like j- just stop. Just honestly, honestly, stop making music. And then the worst album of last year. Portals by Melanie Martinez. Wow, that album was horrible. It's annoying. It's repetitive. It's 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 like a discount Bjork, and I like Bjork. Bjork is one of my favorite artists. It's really bad. It's kind of like it was like a few years ago. She had the whole annoying shtick of like, oh, I'm the baby, and everyone hated it. Yeah, yeah, she's still doing that annoying shtick, but like in a different character. And it, it, it's just as bad. No, not even just as. It, it's worse. It, it's annoying. There's nothing repetitive. There's nothing enjoyable about it. It's like the reasons why most people hate modern music. That's why. <sighs> That's enough talk about bad music. Let's get into some good music. You know what? Let's, let's take off. Let's, get, let's, let's uh, relieve a little stress. Like I said, this was, from, this was one of the albums from my top albums of the year or less of last year. Here we got Geese with their album, 3D Country. This is the track, Undoer. Very loud, very noisy, very good. Let's get into it, listeners. Ooh, and we are back, listeners. It is right now 2.44 in the afternoon, so let's see. Let's talk about a few more things before we play the last final tracks, and we can finish off for this week. The plans for the future. It's a new semester, you know, we, we have to pick up some new classes. I'm once again doing my full 18 hours, so yeah, you know, I'll be busy. <laughs> you know, but you know what? Hey, I personally do like a challenge and taking more classes. I know I can do it. I mean, last semester I got five A's and one B. Still pissed off about that B since, well, I, I, I think I, that class I got like an 86 and 87. I was like, ooh. How about you just push it just a little bit further so I can get that A? But you know what? I'll take it. A B is so good. And I made Dean's list, so hey, you know, I'm all happy for that. Spring semester, you know, that's um, new faces you'll see around campus. I'm doing the P-Well program this semester, so I'll be a peer dialogue leader, and I'll be meeting with my um, a group of students around, not next week, but the week after that. So in like two more weeks, I'll be doing um dialogue with them, talking about uh, philosophy, you know, the ideas. I think we went over the ideas. I think the readings we're going to go over is going to be over um, Kant and Kierkegaard. For those not in the philosophy department, those names, they either A, might make little sense to you because you may have heard a naming tossed around once or twice, or B, absolutely have no idea what I'm talking about. Which, you know what, I'm going to be honest and i think most of you absolutely have no idea what i'm talking about to which i say no problem with that this is where the magic of education comes in you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but uh <laughs> but yeah you know it'll be fun this semester I'm, I'm really looking forward to this semester uh you know testing out um like the ability of me to um teach so uh, i do want to look into the option of going to grad school you know, once I get my uh, bachelor's degree, I would love to go to UT in Austin, but um, I need to raise my GPA. Well, my GPA isn't bad. It, it's good. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, still, there's nothing wrong with trying to work on your GPA. That's everything all listeners should do out there. Work on your grades. Anyways, let's get into the final two tracks of this afternoon's playing. We're going to start off with Open the Light by Boards of Canada. Eh, Reminds you of like some 80s sci-fi soundtrack. You'll get what I mean when you hear it. Remember, you're listening to Coffee Noise with your host, DJ Marlin.
don't touch that dial. All right, listeners, and we are back. It is 2.57 in the afternoon. We're about to wrap up this show, so let's finish off with some final thoughts of the afternoon. Uh, as, pre- as always, uh, the playlist for this week's uh, music choice will be available on both uh, Apple Music and Spotify. You can find me there on Instagram at Watford2003. Decided to change it to something a bit more simpler. I looked up like random Wikipedia article, and there's a city called Watford in, the, in the, like the UK. And for some reason, I liked it, so uh, I put Watford along with my birth year 2003, and it's like that works. I don't know why. You know, reading Wikipedia is kind of fun. You know, if you ever just like bored just read like the the bob dylan wikipedia article it's very long very detailed and i'm a fan of bob dylan so i personally love it anyways before we finish it off let's look over the music we played for the radio today first off we had spit fountain by algaron caldwalder blah blah blahs by brave little abacus uncut gems by daniel lopatin hang your hang-ups by herbie hancock undoer by geese Near DTMI by Black Midi, Open the Light by Boards of Canada, and finishing it off, what you just heard was Grayed by Dean Blunt. Final thoughts of the day. Cows. You know the ones you see on pastures, you know, the, the one that gives us milk? Cows are cool. We should look, ca- we should look at cows less like food, but more like our friends, because that's what they are. I don't know. Am I just rambling sometimes? Probably so. Hmm. Anyways, I'm your host, DJ Marlin. That's going to wrap it up for this week's show, but I'll be here next week at uh, 2 p.m. here on Vaquero Radio. So I'll leave it here, but don't you touch that dial because you're listening to Vaquero Radio, the Valley's only student station. All right. See you around. Laters.